Welcome, welcome, welcome to our relationship show. What we call this show each and every Friday night, we call it The Prince's Secrets. And I am excited that each and every one of you all are here with us this evening. My name is Norma Bryant Howard, and we've titled tonight's show, Celebrate Shades of Love. You know, I'm all about the love. So we're going to celebrate Shades of Love this evening. And I am truly, truly excited. So, because I've got a guest that I'm going to be bringing on to in just a few minutes on our show, The Prince's Secrets, and I've just been excited all day because this young lady, she is multi-talented. She is incredibly beautiful. She is the founder, and she's also the CEO of her own greeting card company that she's going to tell us all about in just a few seconds here. She has been excited about wanting to show you what she has been gifted with because all of us don't have that gift. I know I don't, but she's going to tell us all about it. She's fantastic. She's beautiful. And her name is Delia Kerr. So I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to bring her on right now. So Delia? Oh, there she is. Hello, hello, hello. How hello. are you this evening? Fabulous. You? Fabulous. fabulous. Thank you for having me. you look fabulous. Delia Thank just you. absolutely looks fabulous. She really does. So I'm going to just stop running my mouth and I want her to just tell us a little bit about her. So just introduce yourself. Tell us, you know, maybe where you're from, you know, tell us about you being in a committed uh, relationship for, we want to know how many years you've been in a committed relationship with your husband. And just sure. a little bit about you. We want to hear from you. Sure, absolutely. And again, thank you for having me. It's an honor to be here. Um, again, like you mentioned, my name is Delia Kears. I am originally from South Bend, Indiana, and I have been in the metro Atlanta area for about 24 years. Uh, I have been married for 22 years. Oh, my goodness. I just celebrated my 50th birthday last wow. only two weeks ago. And, uh, thank you. Thank you. I'm in the club now. Everybody's telling me to expect the AARP mail pretty soon. So <laughs> I'll be looking forward to it. I love saving money. Um, yes. and, uh, and I started talking about dedications uh, a couple of years ago. So that's kind of the quick and dirty. Oh, well, that's good. That is good. So you say you're from South Bend, Indiana, because we have a lot of people who come and watch our show every week that are from the uh, South Bend area. So I know all about South Bend, Indiana. So I am just delighted to have you here because I just wanted everybody just to find out about who uh, Delia is and all about your company, uh, Top Not Cre Dedication. Did I say it right? Yeah, Top Not, not Dedication, not, yes. Top Not Dedication. So um, someone, I'm going to pause here for a second and tell you that someone told me earlier today that you had something to do with a vase and it was also some feathers when you were in preschool. <laughs> Can you tell us about you being artsy and how old you were? This, what, what am I talking about? Sure. Um, like I said, I just recently celebrated my 50th birthday uh, with a virtual scrapbook and my mom uh, helped me put together some artifacts from my childhood. And one of the things that I wanted to make sure was represented in the scrapbook was uh, a drawing that I did in preschool when I was three years old. And it was basically three feathers in a very small glass vase that used to sit on my teacher's desk. And that's probably the piece I am most proud of over my <laughs> lifetime because at, a, at age three, I thought that those were the most realistic looking feathers I had ever seen at that point. So I'm very proud of, of, of both that feathers and that vase. That was incredible. I saw the feathers in the vase and I'm thinking she was only uh, a toddler. <laughs> she yeah. did that. She was, was not even officially in elementary school. So I was impressed with that. Uh, I was really impressed with that, Delia. You're good. You are Thank really, you. really good. So Thank tell you. us, uh, because the audience really wants to know this, and I want to know this too. How did the idea of creating your own greeting card business, how did this evolve? Where did it come from? 
Uh, sure. Um, just to give you a little background, um, I've always loved music and I loved art growing up. Uh, you saw the, the three-year-old uh, drawing there, but I really got away from it after college. Um, but about about three years ago, one afternoon, I discovered a sketch app that I really liked and I just started drawing again. And while I was drawing, what was playing in the background the entire time was love songs. And so they all turned out to be romantic in nature. Once I finished all the sweethearts, if you will, uh, I started writing poetry, which I hadn't written any poetry in quite some time. So I was writing poetry about what I was seeing in the drawings. And then I decided it might be a good idea to kind of marry the two and the greeting cards seemed to be the most meaningful way to do that. Wow, that's incredible. Yes, 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 because uh, we're gonna show some of them in just a little bit, but, uh, uh, so is, is your husband, uh, is he uh, involved in the business at all? Or is it just a one woman show right now? It's a one woman show in a sense. I call him my silent partner. Uh, he helps <laughs> me uh, with the distribution. Um, he, get, he helps me a little bit with the ideas um, and he draws himself. So oh, when I get stuck, especially with men, that is not my expertise at all. I say, hey, can you help with me with this? And he says, all you have to do is do this. It's much easier for him. And uh, so so he's a silent partner, but he does, he does help. He does help. Oh, oh, that's wonderful. That is wonderful that, that he can uh, just come out and just, it was no more than going to the post office for you. <laughs> oh, no, much more than going to the post office for me. Yes. If he goes to the post office for you, he is involved in your business. Yes, he yes. definitely is. And, you know, there are so many uh, 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 ladies, uh, because this show is basically geared toward ladies. And I want to know, uh, have you ever given any advice uh, to up and coming uh, entrepreneurs who want to get into business and they don't know, you know, how to get started and they don't know anything about how to create a brand for their business. And they're just like, you know, letting like one year go into the next year, the next year, because, you know, they're, they're stuck. They're really stuck. So have you ever given advice to others? About I have not. Business. No one has ever asked me my opinion. But no, yeah. occasionally, it, it's rare, but it, it, occasionally, uh, I figure that I'm such a novice, I don't have as much to offer as someone who's a veteran in the field. Uh, but I can say that whatever you do, uh, start with your heart. Uh, it has to be something that you're passionate about, and then it won't feel like as much work. Uh, you will enjoy it. Uh, I do have a nine to five. I work eight hours every day, but I come home and work another six hours, and I'm excited to come home and work another six hours on the cards, on the poetry, um, putting some of my special packaging together. Uh, so that it, that's a lot of fun for me. It is a lot of work, uh, and I could use some sleep, but it's a lot of fun for me. So I would say start with your heart uh, when you decide uh, if you want to start a business. And then if you are into um, uh, artwork, poetry, songwriting, you wanna make sure that you protect your intellectual property. Um, one of the things that I make sure that I do after I get a bundle of uh, pieces together is I immediately ship them off to the copyright office. I don't even share my artwork until it's been living in the Library of Congress. So I would say also uh, protect your intellectual property um, if, if, again, you are in this um, artistic realm. Oh, so I like that. Things. Yes, I absolutely. like that. A lot of people need to hear that. you got to protect yourself. You really yes. do. And uh, doing it legally is the way to do it and having it having uh, your work uh, copyrighted because, you know, there are some unscrupulous characters in the world these days. Absolutely. So you need to protect it. And I like when you said, you know, if it's something that you love, it's not work. And she, you, you're working at, on a college campus with students every day. And then you come home at night and you're working uh, another job, which is your yes. passion, something that you love. And I've Absolutely. always heard that you uh, take what you love and you can turn it into, into a profitable uh, 
uh, income into a profitable income if you do what you love. But if it's if it's something that you don't like, you know, it's going to be hard, and you're not going to really, really, truly enjoy that. And and artwork and poetry and all that is really amazing. It really is amazing. So can you show us some of your work? Because I know that the artist is just, I mean, I see Delaine, she's there. She's saying that uh, that is absolutely true. I see Wanda Wills, she's there. And uh, there's someone else by the name of Piano Guy. And I think I might know who this Piano Guy is. Would that be the guy that's from Nashville, Tennessee. It, it might possibly be. I, I have two brothers who play the piano. My father plays the piano, but I suspect it might be the, the person you're thinking of. I can't <laughs> say for sure, but I, I have a sneaky suspicion. All right. Okay, here comes some of your artwork. Can you tell us about this one? Sure, sure. Well, that card, actually, I'll tell you actually a lot about that card. Um, I drew that card to a song by uh, Harry Connick Jr. entitled, And I Love Her. Uh, it's a song that's been covered by many artists, and I love the song. Um, and I love to dance, so I wanted to make sure that there was dancing represented in this particular collection. And this the title of this card is actually called Sweethearts Dancing. So that's kind of the quick and dirty about the images. Uh, but the poem that's featured on the card is an excerpt from one of the favorite poems that I've written entitled Pretty Things, which is featured on another card as well. Okay, all right. Tell us about this one. Sure, that card um, was drawn to the song, The Sand and the Sea by Nat King Cole. Uh, it was very obvious uh, with the image there. And that, that um, card is actually called Ocean Waves. Ocean Waves. Okay. All right. Well, we're, bring, we're bringing them on fast and furious here. <laughs> the next, yeah, the sure. Next one, oh, that is so romantic. Let me yes. just pause here for a moment. Let me just pause and ask you this question. So are all of your cards, are all of them uh, romantic cards? They are indeed. They are indeed. Uh, right now, um, I do plan to venture a little bit out of the romantic realm, and I plan on doing what I call a snowflakes collection, which would be for the holiday season. And I also plan to do a collection called Creatures of Love, which is kind of based on some of these uh, animals and insects that you might often see represented uh, with love or as symbols of love. So, but so you for, have a theme and then you come up with so many cards underneath that theme. Is that what you're exactly, saying? Exactly. Exactly. Oh, yes. Okay. Because this one here is so sensuous. I just love that. Can you tell us about that one uh, also? Sure. Um, I just talked a little bit about this poem on my uh, show, Greeting Card Chronicles. Uh, the title of the song that was playing while I was drawing this was Aretha Franklin's version of "Let Me Go," "Never Let Me Go," which has also been covered by various artists. And the name of this act card is a uh, hot chocolate hug. A hot chocolate. Ooh, say it one more time, uh, Delia. Hot chocolate hug. Hot chocolate love. Okay. You can't just say you can't say that without saying it with a little, you know, a little bit of swag there. You know? Yes. Hot chocolate love. I yes. love it. I love it. Okay. Uh, do you do we have anything else that you'd like to show? Sure. That um card also in the dream collection uh, was drawn to the song um I'll Close My Eyes by Diane Shore, of course, another love song. And the title of this card is called Butterfly Dream Nap. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Now, where did you get your inspiration for that with the butterfly? I really like that. Sure. Well, um, my logo is an actual butterfly and my moniker, which has been trademarked, is don't compromise, give them butterflies. And so we want when this, when you present these cards to someone and they open the box, they open the packaging and they look at the cards. We want to make them feel like they've gotten butterflies or they get goosebumps. And so uh, butterflies uh, are some of the images that you'll see throughout just about all of the collections. Oh my goodness. I love it. I love it. Okay, do we have any more? Okay, we have a lot. She's got a lot. Oh, you, yeah, it looks, like you, it looks like you have the whole dream collection. That's fantastic. 
Um, <laughs> this card um, is entitled Be Stings and Sweet Things. And the song that was playing in the background when I drew this is You're As Right As Rain by Nancy Wilson. Oh, wow. So you have, you see, you have these uh, artists who inspire you, it seems, when you are setting the mood for for uh, writing your cards, am I right? Absolutely, and when I'm drawing the sweet parts, not only does the song come on, but I put it in heavy rotation and I just pretty much loop it. And sometimes I have to come back to a drawing, but I'm still playing that song uh, as okay. I finish and complete the, complete the full set of sweethearts. Oh, I love it. Well, uh, D, uh, Y says, show them the OGs dancing. She says this is one of her favorites. I don't know if we have that one or not. We don't. That's actually, I think I know what she's talking about. That is actually a drawing that I shared um, that will be featured in an upcoming collection. So it's not even on a card yet. Oh, it's not on the card yet. Okay. All right. right. Well, well, we have uh, another one that's uh, up on the screen. And tell okay, us sure. Is. Sure. This card is called Cherry Blossom Romance. And the song that was uh, playing when I drew these sweethearts is called The Only One by Paul Carrot. Wow, that is great. Okay, well, let's just see maybe one more if we have it, because I want to hear some poetry. Okay, tell me about this one before we listen to you uh, reciting some poetry, because it's known that you are a world-class poet, and we want to hear some of your world-class poetry that you have on some of these cards. But tell us about this one, because that's very sensuous too, I think. Sure. Uh, this is the feature card for the Dream Collection, meaning that it will be the card that you see when you go to the website uh, for that collection. And it will usually sit on the top of the stack in the box or in the special packaging when you receive the actual collection. So this is the feature card. And um, this card is entitled Mature and Priceless Love. And the song that was playing in the background is called Songbird by Eva Cassidy. Oh, wow. I am so impressed. And you know, uh, audience, uh, in about two weeks, we're getting ready to celebrate Valentine's Day. And yes. I think that uh, Adelia may be the lady for you if you know uh, you know, it's cold, <laughs> snowy, uh, wet, and the weather is miserable, the temperature is low. So why don't you just think about uh, Delia uh, because it's Valentine's because she's got some cards and you have them, you'll have them, anybody that wants to order them, I'm sure you'll have them and have them ready packaged up and they can receive them by Valentine, which gives oh, them Oh, absolutely. absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. They're already set aside and bundled, oh, ready wow. to go. Now, I will say this, um, what I'm doing is kind of pushing out some limited editions, and I do have some left of the Eternity Collection, which was my first collection. I probably only have 30 left, and of this dream collection that you're showing now, I probably only have 60 collections left, so um, act now is all I can say. And she says, act now. I hope everybody heard that. Okay, yes. so are you ready, everybody, if you are ready, because I just said, this is a world-class poet, and she gets her inspiration from the Lord. He brings that inspiration down to her, and she's going to read some poetry to us this evening, because she is absolutely not only beautiful, but she is multi-talented. So, Delia, can you read uh, to us right now, if you're ready? Sure, Absolutely. I am going to read um, a poem that is, again, featured on two of the cards in the dream collection that you were sharing uh, just moments ago. And this is my favorite poem thus far, even though I probably have about 60 poems in the copyright office, but this is my favorite. And I shared it before um, on my business page with a contest uh, for a poetry slam that I did last year. But this poem is entitled Pretty Things. Pretty things come to mind when I think of you, like a warm summer sky in exquisite shades of blue, like a field of daisies, tulips and wildflowers, like a magnificent sunrise in the morning's wee hours. I'm reminded of wind making ripples over a lake and the most intricate of paper snowflakes. 
Because you are love and to whom my heart belongs, I'm often compelled to write love songs. This brings to mind all of the pretty sounds that like you hypnotize and leave me spellbound. I hear harps, violins, and wind chimes tinkling, flutes and hummingbirds harmoniously singing. Those are just a few of the priceless things that I associate with the happiness your existence brings. Without all the shiny things, I'm quite satisfied. Invaluable is each second here by your side. What counts, my love, are all of the little things. Quite truthfully, what means most is you, pretty thing. <laughs> I love it. Oh, what? Ladies, when you love to receive a card like that from a man, <laughs> he's going to send it to you or maybe you're going to send it to him for Valentine's Day. You know, yes. you got to act right now because, you know, uh, Monday is February the 1st and, and Valentine's Day is on the 14th. So you don't have much time. That Absolutely. poem was so incredible. I love poetry. That Thank was you. so incredible, Delia. I Thank love you. that. Can you tell us, that you, do you have anything else you'd like to, uh, to share with us tonight? Sure. Um, you were talking about um, February 1st is just around the corner. Let me add that I'm hearing that there have been some delays with the U.S. Postal Service. I've heard so, that. Yes. So I'm not sure if I would wait until February 1st, but by February 1st, you are sure to get your cards before Valentine's Day. Yes. Oh, that's great. That is great. I I, I had heard that. Myself. Yeah, I had heard that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, another one you like? We like to hear another one. I mean, it just sort of sets the mood for us when when, when we hear a, a poet actually reading a poem that she's read, and and yours is just absolutely just breathtaking. I love them. Well, that is the only poem that I prepared to read tonight, but I will read. Um, one from the, I'll read a little bit from two of the cards, uh, the Hot Chocolate Hug. Uh, oh, this goodness. excerpt is from a poem called Seasons. January and December, the beginning and end of each year, hot chocolate and peppermint tea, good tidings and good cheer. While winter months can be marked with snow and ice on the ground, I don't notice the bitter cold quite as much whenever you're around. That's oh, part of seasons. Oh, short, sweet, but oh, so to the point. Oh, Very so much to so. the point. Oh, Very I much. mean, uh, this young lady is incredible. Uh, she does some in incredible poetry. And, you know, sometimes in life, ladies, you know, it doesn't, you know, our, our gifts aren't really revealed to us when we're 21 or 25 or maybe even 35 and sometimes much later. And uh, Delia just said she just celebrated her 50th. Now you all got 50 is looking really good these days. Thank <laughs> if you. She's Thank 50, you. If she's 50, 50 is looking really good. And she's only been in this business, she told us, three years, but she is making an impact on the world. And she is absolutely a great, great inspiration for all of us. So just tell us, I want to know, how do we get in contact with you? Because uh, uh, the first is Monday and we want to do it. We want to order these cards and we really need to do it. Uh, ladies, we need to do it tomorrow. You know, why wait? You don't need uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You don't need to sit there and think about it because by the time you get all your thinking done and, you know, should I, should not, you know, postal services, she just said, and I've heard this, you probably heard this too, is that uh, they're moving really slow these days. So just give us some information. How do we get in contact with you when we want to order these? Oh my goodness, these are such beautiful romantic. Uh, cards. Just tell us, what should we do? Sure. Um, the easiest way to order the cards is go straight to the website. And that website is dedications with a K dot net. That's all you need. And you will go straight to the center of the page and you will look at the two collections that I have. I have photos uh, of the, of course, the, the outsides of the cards, but I also um, show the inside of the cards where I have some specialty paper uh, inserted in those to give them a high-end finished look. So you can see the cards in full on the website. Again, that is dedications with a K.net. 
All right. And, and I think it's, it's scrolling across the bottom. Oh, the isn't that special? It's, yes. Can you see yes, that? indeed. It's yes, scrolling. indeed. Okay. All right. Delia's uh, website is scrolling across the bottom of the screen right now. And where uh, the big question I need to ask you is, just where do you see yourself five years from now in this business? Where do you see yourself? Because, you know, they say we've got to dream big and you have already started to dream and I don't see you doing that, but just going farther and farther and bigger and bigger and, and just really inspiring people and just bringing uh, couples together. And, you know, sometimes we can't express ourselves, you know, verbally, you know, and especially guys do really have a difficult time expressing themselves and a lot of ladies do too. But to have a card that can express what you are feeling on the inside is so incredible. So where do you see yourself in your business in the next, um, I'm going to say, five years? Sure, sure. Well, like I said, right now I'm, I'm pushing out these very special limited editions. Uh, hopefully my next collection, Infinity, will be out this spring, so look forward to that. Uh, once I, again, uh, move a little bit away from the romantic uh, greeting cards, I will be uh, working on some more uh, some more note cards. Like I said, the Creatures of Love, those will probably be blank notes that you can use for thank you cards or what have you. And I want to okay. make sure that all of my cards are for any occasion. So I'm very intentional about doing that. Um, so, so I want to get into different types of cards, uh, but I also want to get into uh, gifts and novelties, um, gift bags, wrapping paper, coffee Ooh, wow. mugs. So I do want to expand because I do have quite a bit of artwork. So um, I, I don't want to pigeonhole myself just to the card. So I definitely uh, intend to expand. It's going to take a while, right? You know, because I'm a one woman show. I do all the artwork and all the poetry is original. So it does take quite a bit of time. Uh, and I have to be inspired too. So, uh, right. but that's kind of where I see myself uh, with the business evolving. Okay, the, and you know how that old saying goes, the world is your oyster. So you, Indeed. you got that gift. God has blessed you with that gift. And I mean, you are going far. And we're getting a lot of comments uh, that's coming in tonight. Uh, D.Y. says, uh, look out, Hallmark. <laughs> look yes, out, Hallmark. Yes. I love it. I absolutely love it. Definitely look out, Hallmark, because we have a multi-talented, beautiful, very, uh, you know, a sensuous girl because it's sensuality and these words are coming from her and she gets all that from up above and, you know, we haven't met or I've not ever met anyone that uh, owns their own uh romantic greeting card business. And uh, once again, because we're getting ready uh, to uh, just tell Miss Delia Kirst how much we enjoyed her, how much she has just inspired us, and uh, how you can get in contact with her. And if there's anybody out there in the audience who wants to have them on, have a, a Delia as a guest on your show, because I know a whole bunch of ladies out there that have, have uh, shows every, uh, I don't know, from Monday to Sunday, you know, you can get in contact with her through her website information is at the bottom of the screen. You can get in contact with her. So I really, really enjoyed having uh, Delia on our show this evening. And we've got some great comments coming. And I mean, she has just inspired so many of us, a full-time wife. Uh, she's got a full-time job and she's got a full-time uh, second business, which is being the founder and CEO, and I hope I get it right. I'm going to see, can I say it right this time, of Top Not Dedications. And there it that, is. That, that Dedications is with a K. So I want to just tell her how much uh, I've enjoyed having her on the show, and I'm going to tell her bye, because I've got two words, if, if the audience will give me just, uh, uh, just a minute or two, because I have an announcement for you, but I just want to tell the beautiful, beautiful Delia how much I, I love her and how much I appreciate her being on our show this evening. Thank you so much. Thank you, you for care. having me. Okay. Thank All you right. for having me. Be blessed. Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 All right. Just give me about another minute and uh, you can be uh, on your on your way, but just another minute. Ladies, I have a question for you. And this show is definitely designed for single women. That's how we start. That's why we came up with the name of Princess Secrets. Um, are you tired of spending every Valentine's Day 
all by yourself. Okay, uh, so when was the last time you actually received a romantic card, like maybe one of the ones that Dalia creates? And do you actually allow your single girlfriends who don't have a relationship with a man, do you actually allow them to give you all the advice in the world about relationships and how to find a high quality man? Do you do that? Do you have girlfriends that will do that for you? So if you answered yes to just one of these questions that I just asked you, perhaps you need to think about investing in my relationship bundle. And I'm calling it right now the Valentine's Day Relationship Bundle. Well, what comes in the bundle? Well, you're going to get a lot in the bundle. This bundle is valued at $1,200. Now, here's what you get. You'll get 12 relationship videos. I said 12. You get five romance audios. You get an autographed copy of my book. The name of my book is The Princess Secrets. This book uh, was authored by myself, Norma Brian Howard. So you get an autographed copy of The Prince of a Charming Book, Where Are You? You also get uh, my motivational book which is really inspiring, especially when you're uh, thinking about setting and continuing to set goals for the new year. Uh, I'm selling this, I'm, and if I get the first, I'm gonna say, let's see, I got this pen here, I'm gonna say the first uh, uh, five ladies who contact me uh, within the next 40, 24 hours, I'm gonna throw in a one-on-one, uh, -on -one a session with me, a 30-minute relationships one-on-one uh, -on -one with me so that we could just talk about relationships. And this bundle actually comes to probably somewhere over $1,200. But if you act between now and tomorrow night this time, tomorrow, tomorrow night, by I'm going to say by 8 o'clock, I'm going to give you all of what I just said, and you can get it for $49.99. $49.99. And you don't know how to get in contact with me? Look on your screen right now. And that's my website, www.princecharmingway.com. So with that being said, I'd like to ask you to please remember to wear your mask, practice social distancing. I know we're getting those vaccine shots, but we still can't go back to the way life used to be. Not yet. And always say a prayer for the whole wide world. And I will see you next week on The Prince's Secrets. Take care. Good night. <laughs>